Hello and welcome back to week two of this Patreon series. By now, I think that you were probably developing some pretty good hand strength with the major triad. So again, just to recap that, that's root, major third, perfect fifth with the pointer. And if we down pick with the thumb and the pick, up with the middle finger and up with the ring finger, we've got a nice major triad. And this shape can be moved around to the sixth string. So it remains a, a major triad in both fifth and sixth strings. And now I'm going around the cycle of fifths, which we talked about last week. And we're back to the square one. So let's go through that real quick just to recap last week. So we've got A, D, G, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B natural, E, back to one where we started. So this week we're going to introduce the two, three Latin clave rhythm to, to add some rhythmic variation to last week's exercise. Let's check it out. Okay, so a great place to start would be defining the clave. We can think of the clave as a two-part repetitive rhythmic pattern. This pattern is sometimes not even heard, but just felt behind the complex polyrhythmic structure of Afro-Cuban music. This pattern is played with two round sticks, also called claves, and they sound a lot like a wood block. The clave works like a rhythmic cell or building block at the most basic level. It can be used in two inversions or positions, the 2-3 or 3-2 clave. We'll get more into exactly what is meant by the inverted clave or 3-2 clave later on. But for now, just know that it's a basic building block of all Afro-Cuban music. In Afro-Cuban music, everything has to fit with this rhythmic cell. When the clave inverts or changes position, the whole feel of the music changes. So if you're in a band and you guys are playing 2-3 clave music, and someone's not playing this beat, they're going to throw the entire groove of the chart off and probably get some dirty looks from the dancers and the other band members. So make sure if you're going to play in a group like this that you can feel this rhythm. Consequently, melody, harmony, and rhythm all will have to change accordingly to fit the type of clave in which the music is written. So we could say that the clave is the foundation of Afro-Cuban music and that it serves as an organizing force to hold the polyrhythmic complexity of the music together. Feeling the clave. Feeling the clave is no different from feeling a pulse on beats two and four when you play a swing tune. The more you could play into that groove, the more you will find you are able to swing. Playing off clave or in the wrong clave is like going to church to hear a gospel group and while everybody is clapping on two and four, some people in the audience will start clapping on one and three. Some people do this just because they have never had the experience of feeling the two and four rhythmic backbeat within their bodies. For most musicians, listening to someone clapping on beats one and three over a burning gospel tune feels incredibly awkward. The same sensation of awkwardness will be felt by an experienced salsa player or dancer when he or she hears somebody playing in the wrong clave. Okay, so let's quickly go over how we would count the clave. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, one, two, and three, four, one. Okay, so now you understand what is meant by the clave. Okay, so I'm just going to show you quickly how I comp this with my right and left hand and count it. So, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. See how on the upbeat of four, I'm hitting the next chord. Latin music is always anticipatory of the upcoming chord. So one more time. One, two, three, and four.
One, two, three, four.